They'll be calling you a radical. Like a cancer, the silence grows. The Wall Street analysts and CNBC pretend like they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the fucking analysts? This is the biggest conspiracy corruption in history. This is Merrill Lynch on fucking Balco 2008, 2009. This is the greatest conspiracy organized crime. CNBC, fucking, I want everybody, everybody, you get fucking recording. Fucking Kramer, Wall Street, uh, Maria Bartiroma. Fucking, uh, what's Michelle Correa? All of them, all of them. These are co conspirators to the greatest crime, like a silence can't. All the analysts, all these analysts that pounded you into fucking General Electric, everything. The fucking lies, Jack Welch. Fucking, the greatest criminal who maybe ever walked, Jeffrey Mel. Him and Obama had a Chicago Bridge and I. <coughs> and remember this the new scale scam right now, the new head of the NRC, Cynthia, who I know is from. Idaho National Lab. The Raz Connection, Raz Connection, who started Idaho National Lab. They fraudulently got the original money, been exposed that it was a Ponzi scheme and fraud. You don't care. You don't fucking care. Look, this is the nuclear crime en energy fucking crime syndicate is the greatest organized crime syndicate in world history. This is coming apart. Where are the fucking analysts this morning? Fucking $15 billion. I want to know, where are the SEC auditors? Where are fucking... Out of the auditors, how in the fuck could they possibly, over a 20-year period, check off these fucking rest home fucking, this insurance fucking scam? How do these auditors check off this? They have to check it off fucking annually. Where's the SEC? They're derelicts. The fucking SEC, all of these auditors need to be locked up right fucking now. The analysts, the auditors, fucking all. This is a fucking conspiracy from hell. Remember, Jeff Mel and Barack Obama... Together, together, flown to South America. With Chicago, the biggest entourage in U.S. history flown out to orchestrate the greatest crime in human history, the cover-up of Fukushima. Why? Why is this possible? Who's pulling their fucking strings? Why is Wall Street analysts, CNBC, print media, everybody going along with this fucking greatest crimes in human history? Oh, because the nuclear industry fucking owns them. They own academia. This is the greatest conspiracy in fucking human history. Ha! Huh, what is the penalty damage for killing the Pacific Ocean? Fuku flu. Oh, no, nothing. Fucking dump fucking nuclear fallout in the Pacific Ocean for 2,500. Oh, there's no fucking consequence to that. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> Your fucking frogs have been boiled fucking nicely. Like a cancer, the silence grows. Every one of you fucking analysts that are fucking laying there, you heard the same thing I did. I listened to you guys. I, I know who you are. I know every one of you who you are. You ask questions in there. Flannery himself said, this, this fucking smacked you off guard so hard. $15 billion fucking insurance fucking right now. What? What? Where are the auditors? Where is fucking the SEC? Where are the analysts? How come you guys aren't out this morning? That was two days ago. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? Like a fucking, the ultimate AML leukemia cancer fucking, the silence grows. <laughs> la la la, la 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 Oh, how come they haven't killed you, Kevin? The great, greatest fucking maybe whistleblower ever. I knew Aaron Swartz personally, by the way. I've whistled blown all over this site so many fucking times. Oh, let's see. Right when I got really, really involved, the day I'm supposed to speak at Zuccotti, I was one of the original organizers of that. I called it post-ignorance. <laughs> what? I got AML leukemia in my guts? Was given two months to fucking live? Huh. I was in a bone marrow transplant center off and off for five fucking years. Then right as I come out, huh, right as I get in vogue again, everything's going up. Boom! I fucking collapse. My aortic valve completely fucking collapsed. Open heart fucking surgery. Ha! <laughs> ha! I'll be pl seeking political asylum in Austria. I've already filed the paperwork once, but Freedom Eisenblau, who, I mean, what's the odds? She nominated me for the alternative Nobel Prize, and boom, she dies. Holy Moses. At 88. <laughs> like a fucking cancer. Like the ultimate cancer. The Fukushima silence grows. <laughs> the University of General Electric. These are the people that built the fucking reactors. This is the art school that I went to. Oh, I got kicked out.
locked out. I taught at the number one their school of business. Stole all my fucking degrees. Took away. <laughs> one day you guys are going to wake up. My story. My fucking path. <laughs> Maybe the greatest fucking whistleblower this fucking country's ever fucking seen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You just keep denying me. You keep denying me. <laughs> you don't know shit. Oh I do. I know what this fucking. This fucking catastrophe called Fukushima. Called General Electric. This is the greatest crimes in human history. This insurance, where are the analysts? Where, how is it possible? The, the SEC, the fucking auditors, just like Madoff, just went in there and fucking, <laughs> Madoff's kids both said it right. Madoff's one son said it right. You, by the way, I want you to know, do you know Madoff's fucking one son? You know, the one committed suicide. Did they do it? No, his, their scumbag fucking dad did and the Wall Street analysts did it. Not, how about fucking SEC? The SEC are the fucking guilty party on the Madoff scam and the Maryland scam all up. The SEC are the guilty partners. They're paid to police it. Do you know the other son died of leukemia? AML leukemia? Did you know that? <laughs> like a cancer, the silence grows. <laughs> Who's the guilty partners? Look in the mirror, fuckheads. Look in the fucking mirror. Fucking stand tuned.